Imazathapir is an imidazolinone herbicide with a structure comprising a pyridin ring attached to an imidazolinone ring. It is primarily used to control annual and perennial grasses and broadleaf weeds in crops like soybeans, peanuts, and other legumes. Mode of action, emazathapir inhibits acetohydroxyacid synthase, AHS, also known as acetolactate synthase, ALS, an enzyme essential for the biosynthesis of branched chain amino acids, valine, leucine, and isoleucine. By blocking this enzyme, imazathapir prevents the production of these amino acids, leading to plant death. Formulation, imazathapir is available in several formulations, including water dispersible granules, WDG, emulsifiable concentrates, EC, soluble liquids, SL, dry, flowable, DF. These formulations are mixed with water and applied as a spray. Uses imazathapir is used in various crops to control a wide range of weeds, soybeans, controls grasses, and broadleaf weeds. Peanuts manages competing weed species. Dry beans and peas helps manage weed populations. Alfalfa controls broadleaf weeds. Other legumes used in lentils, chickpeas, and other legumes. Dose, the recommended dose of imazathapir per hectare varies based on the crop, formulation, and target weed species, generally ranging between 50 to 150 grams of active ingredient per hectare. Pre-emergence, applied before crop and weed emergence to prevent weed germination. Post-emergence, applied after crop and weed emergence to target actively growing weeds. Imazathapir is absorbed by the roots and foliage and translocated throughout the plant for effective weed control. Thank you for watching our video on pesticide info. Remember, when using pesticides, it's crucial to follow the recommended dosage and guidelines provided by the manufacturer. Always read the label carefully and use the product as directed to ensure effective and safe pest control. Always wear protective gear. Stay safe and protect your crops responsibly. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below.